Once you've got Glenn groveling at your feet, it's all over for the Hell's Legions. But watch out. He's been known to come heavy, so be careful of weapons. It doesn't matter what he does, though. He doesn't stand a chance against you. Go show him what you're made of. Dwayne's already heard about you taking out the Hell's Legions. He's finally gathered all his heavy hitters to count on your next move. It's time to take this fight all the way to the hood. Go eliminate his men and drag him out.
Wayne has shown himself. He's only going to listen to what we have to say after he's been beaten into submission. You're in the clear now and nobody can stop you. Finish him off. Once you've won, we'll have proven our innocence and can finally look towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, this is it. So don't screw it up. Hmm. Wait just a minute. We'll be proven innocent, sure. But then who kidnapped KG to spark these gang wars in the first place? Get out of this town before you all end up like him. Let's rock and roll.
up and get dressed. The gang that kidnapped KG is tearing through the city, setting fire to everything in their path. KG told me they call themselves the Outlaws. They're a bunch of ex-cons who are apparently eager to head right back to the Slammer. Their ringleader is a guy everybody calls Napalm99. This guy has been in and out of the joint several times. Hang on, I'm coming with you. These aren't your average fist fodder. You're going to need friends from here on out. The outlaws aren't the only ones we have to worry about. These guys call themselves the Shadow Platoon. They're ex-grunts led by some guy named McKinsey. They may have all been in the service, but there's not an ounce of honor between the lot of them. They're nothing but a pack of psychotic meatheads who got kicked out of the army for being too unstable. But they're still a world apart from the typical goons you'd find roaming the streets. If their track record is anything to go by, each one is a major threat in his own right, so you'd better take some backup just in case. My men know that you're calling the shots. So regardless of whether two of you are ganging up on the same guy, or whether you split up and go after them individually, issue your commands clearly and wisely.
riot is spreading to the city center. There's even looting going on around Central Square. The mayhem is the handiwork of some scumbags being led by the outlaws. They brought some outsiders into their fold and are inciting the riots. We can't just let this unruly mob run about recklessly. Go out and crush them. Street gangs have joined the riot to loot and torch everything in sight. They've even got those punks in on the action to lay waste to the city. But why? They've even started raising hell on my turf. You'd better go and put a stop to that right now. You don't need to take out all of them. Just concentrate on dropping their leader and the rest of them will turn tail and run. Now go. I'm counting on you.
The outlaws have recruited Chris, a brawler who's worked as the bouncer at a bar and is an enforcer for a loan shark downtown. Word is, he's got you in his sights. Brawlers have gotten by on their neutral status because they haven't been affiliated with any gang turfs. But hey, that's no reason why we shouldn't take them out if they start giving us trouble. Go say hello to our little friend, and take a partner with you. Chris has plenty of street fighting experience, so stay on your toes. Boxers have teamed up with the Shadow Platoon to go after Glenn, who's chilling back at their hideout. Some of the boxers from the West Side Gym were known to have had a hand in the rioting, so it seems like the Shadow Platoon were able to bring them on board. Glenn might not have been a saint, but we don't want him ending up in a hospital now. You've got to get over there right now and help him out. been laying low ever since losing to you in that fight, but he's just turned up. I'm ready to make him a deal, but it looks like he's gotten in deep with the street gangs on the outskirts of the city. I've already prepared the cash. Make short work of those scumbags and get Jake back here in one piece. Oh, my God. 
Cross Trail District is a buffer zone between the inner city and the residential area of respectable citizens. However, due to the recent downturn in the economy, it has practically become a ghetto. The outlaws have been seen going in and out of a building in that area. I'm guessing that's their hideout. Destroy it before they start running amok. Their hideout is located underground, so mop them up nice and fast before they can call in reinforcements. Because if they do, you've got no place to run. is a brawler in the industrial district. He knows Taekwondo and specializes in conflict resolution. He has no affiliation with the Outlaws or the Shadow Platoon. But in an unfortunate turn of events, one of Dwayne's boys mistook him for a rioter and decked him. Park, understandably upset, has been attacking every Zap's crew he sees. He can't be left hanging around the industrial district like this, so take someone with you and sort him out. <laughs> 